Interior stylist Kate Alexander is also Creative Living's design guru. She joins Peter Wolfcamp on Saturday afternoons here on 3. And as if that and running her own business isn't enough, she's also just self-published her very first book. Welcome to the cafe, Kate. Hi, Hi Mel. Now, you um, first up, let's start to talk about the show. Are you enjoying things so far? Loving it. Awesome. I mean, great team, lovely couple who own the house. Peter Wolfcamp's great to work with. So what? Well, yeah. What's there not what's to love? Not to love about it. Actually, just take a look at this clip. And of course, our very own design guru, interior stylist Kate Alexander, is here to help save the day. She has a van load of goodies, and Joe and Richard have no idea what she's chosen. Will they decide to keep what she's selected or just send it all back? Well, now, that's the episode I saw just yeah. this Saturday. Yeah. Um, I love the show, by the way, and I love your design, but how scary is it when those rooms are revealed? Yeah, that, that is, because um, you just never know whether they're going to love them or not. But definitely, in that, in that room in particular you saw last week, most of it's still there. Oh, no. Nice. Oh, they really wanted to keep it, yeah. Have they yeah. sent anything back yet? Do you know? Uh, mm, no, a few little things, but right. generally, in most of it, yeah, they really liked it. And the, the actual, the oil painting on the wall was the central piece for the whole house. They really loved that one piece of art. And so they that took really, everything else from that? I took everything from that. I said, there's one thing we really want. Um, that and the lamp, you may have noticed, that yep. had those, um, didn't used to have big bulbs on it, it had these sort of funny... Um, light shades and you didn't really get to see the lamp so yeah and, those and two what's things. and what's P4 camp like to work with oh. is he alright? Yeah he's alright <laughs> <laughs> he's like that we had Pete on the show earlier on and he oh, said the yeah. same thing about you oh. no he did he said you're delightful uh, it looks like a really fun team and the it house is. looks quite incredible mm. when you're getting your inspiration I mean how do you mm. I've always fascinated about how designers get it are you just walking along the road and you see a tree or you see something amazing and think oh, I can make a whole house design around this one thing yeah it's it's definitely it's like a filing system it's like you'll see something I always have to have my phone on me because that's my camera and you never know you might even go to the bathroom in a, in a restaurant and you'll see something and be like, I really want to take a photo so definitely that but then also there's like a processing system where you walk into a space and then you have to go away and then just process you don't I don't immediately often get a feel sometimes you just have to sit in a space for a while and mm. just, you know so you didn't start off interior designing did no. you how did that how did the change happen uh, just one of those sliding door moments, I guess. I had been running a graphic design company and I loved it, but I wanted to have a change of career. I've got two kids, I wanted something flexible. I wanted to be hands-on, right. not in front of a computer. Uh, and uh, five years later, this is, this is where I am. Well, you're about as hands-on as you can get. Now, you've got this book that you've just done, Finishing Touches, How to Find Grace in Your Place. And what I like about it is that I opened it up and I immediately felt it is for me, it is for every person. Like, it's very attainable. And, and I, I had to mark it with a piece of sugar, the bit that I liked when I was reading it over lunch <laughs> yesterday. And I like the bit you say, art isn't just pictures and statues, a business card, a swing tag, an envelope, a flag. Everything yeah. can be art. And you show how to display everything quite creatively. Yeah. I, I just, I grew up with parents who were art collectors. Art collectors in the sense that they would see something and they would love it and they'd bring it home and hang it and I think that's, that's definitely rubbed off on me. And it's just, art is what creates, when you walk into a house it's often the thing where you look at and it gives you a sense of who's living there. Um, yeah. you, you must absolutely love this job, so what is it that you love the most about interior design? Is it the faces of the clients when they've seen a finished room or is it something else? It's, it's seeing people yeah, it's seeing the reaction of how a small little change can be like, oh my God, I'd never thought of that. And now the room works so much differently. And it makes you feel really nice. And as you say, you find a bit of grace in your place. Exactly. Beautiful book, thank wonderful you. stuff. Really, really enjoying it. Uh, thank you so much for joining us today, thank Kate. Cheers. Kate's fabulous new book, Finishing Touches, How to Find Grace in Your Place, is available right now. And make sure that you join her and Pete Wolfcamp on Creative Living Saturdays at 4.25 right here on TV3.